Hey everyone, it's Chris here for another Monkey Junk update. Uh, just keeping you guys informed about what's going on with Monkey Junk the comic, uh, the current Kickstarter, and pretty much anything related to do with Monkey Junk. This is sort of a, uh, a new thing, which essentially it's just a vlog, just a random vlog doesn't come out on any particular day, it's just me vlogging. Um, and a way for me to sort of keep accountable with Monkey Junk now that you know, I'm not, no longer doing the 100 days of making comics, uh, things like that. So it gives me a chance to sort of express my opinions and talk about what I've been doing uh, without the uh, without that sort of looming thought of having to do this every single day. I can just do it every few days. Anyway, that's enough of that. You probably guys who have watched it don't need to already know, and those who do know will figure it out, I'm sure. I'm not even sure what I just said. So yesterday I had a interview, well I didn't do an interview, I had the hangout with Marsh for our Making Comics uh, check-in, which we do every week, except for last week because we were busy, but every week we do our Making Comics check-in, and it was a really good check-in. Um, gave me a chance to, one, promote the Kickstarter because I haven't had a chance to really do it um, on there yet, and uh, just talking about what we've done and the things that we've accomplished and uh, like we're both just really pushing making comics and doing our thing and it's really cool and it's, it's really great to be able to talk with Marsh every week and uh, you know see what he's doing see how much he's pushing he's sort of in a similar situation as me working full time and um, very time poor so doing what he can with the time he has to uh, to make comics and it's really great to see what he's doing. He's sort of learning some new avenues on digital, uh, working digitally, but also wanting to still work traditionally and sort of bouncing back and forth. And um, he's going to be releasing a new comic on his Patreon very soon. Um, but he's doing heaps, which is so awesome. Um, and you know, it continues to drive me as well uh, with Monkey Junk. So um, along with everything else, there's like a ton of drivers that push me to go, okay, well, I've got the making comics, uh, check-in which makes me accountable um, I've got the fact that a new page has to go up every week on Patreon plus on um, Webtoons which keeps me accountable uh, you guys who are actually reading the comics um, giving me feedback helps to make me accountable there's a lot going into it to continue to push me to make sure that this comic just continues to happen which is really fantastic I do apologize it's hay fever season now and I'm pretty sure I said this last time um, but hay fever is in full force lately and today is no exception so hopefully hopefully my uh, my hay fever tablets have kicked in and it won't be too bad for this drive so where am I at with monkey junk what's going on all right as far as monkey junk is concerned we are past the page five mark now uh, I finished pages four and five last week uh, I attribute that to the fact that page 5 was a splash page of just an individual character plus a background. So it, it was more like just doing a singular illustration rather than doing a whole comic page. So it did make it a lot easier to do, uh, but it pushed me ahead. So I finished that on Saturday, so pretty much a week ahead because that would have gone up uh, to tonight on Patreon. So it pushed me ahead, it gave me a bit of time to do a couple of things I wanted to do. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, if you don't want to wait, you can see that over on Patreon now. If you pledge, uh, the link will be down below. Uh, all you have to do is pledge a dollar a week, uh, sorry, a dollar a month, um, and you'll be able to see all the Monkey Junk updates there uh, early, which is pretty cool. Um, but yes, it gave me a little bit more wiggle room, so I spent a little bit more time doing Kickstarter stuff and just putting together promotional material. Um, it's currently October, so I've set myself a challenge to do Inktober again, which is crazy because I'm super busy as it is, but um, I want to squeeze it in, even if I, I know this is sort of cheating, but even if I manage to do two or three images a night for the next few nights and create a backlog and get ahead of myself, um, I, mean, I draw every day anyway, um, but I'd like to be able to share something new every day <clears throat> in the spirit of Inktober, so we'll see how that goes. And I also have started work or development work on uh, Greg, the comic strip, which uh, I've mentioned a few times, and if you watched the Hangout last night, you would have seen me working on the background for it. Um, Greg's essentially a four-panel um, comic strip, which I'll be putting up on... Uh, 
Instagram, Instagram when it's done, um, it's already know what it's going to be about, um, but writing it has been a very difficult thing. Uh, I've also given, you know, shown what I've written to Piper, and uh, he likes it. Um, but I think we're both struggling to make it as good as what we want it to be. <clears throat> writing a four-panel strip, sort of getting that punchline so quickly, um, is not something either of us are familiar with. So it's definitely been a bit of a struggle, but. What I have been doing is just writing what comes to mind, just trying to put it onto paper. So just to get even the, the good ideas and the bad ideas out to get me into a mode of writing in that style, uh, to try and think more in the lines of that. Um, but we're getting there. Like there's a few funny ones, but they definitely need work. Um, but I suppose that's like anything really. Uh, the hope is that eventually I'll be able to write them sort of quickly and put one strip out a week which is uh, would be easy the way that I've set it up is I'll have all the illustrations essentially pre-done and you'll be able to just swap out illustrations um, and the background is going to be like a big sort of rotating background so you can move it around so at any given time it'll always look different but it's always going to be the same assets um, and then with speech bubbles and everything, I mean, it, it's about the joke more so than it is about the art, but it's just sort of an introduction into, another introduction into the Monkey Junk universe for people who don't have webtoons or haven't found it, maybe they'll be able to find this comic strip on Instagram, see it and be like, haha, that's funny, and then go, oh, there's more to this, there's actually a whole story, this is just a small part. So we'll, uh, we will see. So that's sort of where I'm art wise I've started the pencils on page six this morning uh, hopefully this should be an easy one uh, it's gonna have a couple of repeating panels which will make it a little bit easier um, and then there's sort of a big collision on the bottom panel so that should be really interesting and fun to draw so just nutting through that uh, this afternoon I have a another interview or my first interview uh, with uh, Jeff Lafferty, which I'm really excited about. Uh, so I'll be on his channel. Uh, fortunately, like for Jeff, it's going to be like one in the morning for him. So I'm super appreciative that he's willing to be up at that time to do the interview. Obviously, being in Australia, um, the hours are a bit crazy. I do have another interview on the Art Casters on Friday, which I think is their Thursday, which will be good. And uh, I'm talking to uh, Chris Martinez. Uh, which is comics with Chris about doing one with him so I'm going to get back to him about times um, but this is good like it's all good stuff to hopefully create some more attention to Monkey Junk which would be rad whether it's to the Kickstarter or just to reading the comic book um, either or would be awesome um, the Kickstarter is running smoothly we just hit the halfway mark which is fantastic so we're now 1500 and something dollars um, but we, we are moving ahead slowly. I'm quietly confident that we're going to make it. Um, I'm not going to get my hopes up just yet, but I'm quietly confident um, because things seem to be just running. They're just sort of ticking over. Like there wasn't, the last Kickstarter I did, there was a real lull in the middle of it, really quiet, there was no pledges. This one's been quite consistent. There's been at least one or two pledges a day since setting it up, so that, gives me a bit of hope so just got to wait and see just got to keep putting the work out um, just got going to message a few more people um, I've definitely learned that it doesn't hurt to reach out to people directly uh, especially on things like Facebook where a lot of people don't see what's going on um, just to sort of, just to market the book because just put posting on Facebook really isn't enough I've noticed and I need to put in I've been putting in a ton of legwork um, putting together like you know, a little marketing spiel messaging that out to people and then interacting with people afterwards I think it's important to not to just set and forget but to actually shoot it out and say hey how you doing have a conversation with them um, thank them for their support whether they pledge or whether they share or um, even just for saying hey I really like it that's cool um, it's all it all counts it all adds to it so if you guys haven't please check out the Kickstarter um, I'm gonna go now because I'm not far away from work so um, 
but you will see me on Jeff's channel tonight, <clears throat> pardon me, and uh, I, I have Friday off too, so I'm actually thinking I might do a live stream so you guys can watch me work on Monkey Junk. Um, on here, I don't often get the chance to do that, so while I have a day off, I might try and do that, um, and you guys can jump in the chat and say hello. Uh, I'll try and figure out a good time so people can actually jump in and chat too. Um, I know there's a lot of followers over in the US, so if I can sort of figure out a good time, um, or if there's a good time for you guys, let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I can work it around that. Um, so my Friday will generally be your Thursday. All right. I'll leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for listening to me ramble and about updates on Monkey Junk. Um, and if you haven't already read the comic, it is now, uh, Chapter 2 is now live over on Webtoons. So the first page is up and we'll be continuing to update every week. Uh, so you guys can check that out there. Um, and you've got the whole first chapter, which is already up as well. So 20 pages uh, for you guys to enjoy. All right, have a fantastic one and I will see you next time.